Luke, the 12th chapter, verses 22 to 24. Text says, and he said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat, nor about your body, what you will put on. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the rain, they neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn. And yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And the Lord of the blessing to the reading and hearing. I was holding the mind with the church say amen. amen. We're going to use uh, for a topic of this morning. I'm not going to let this stress me out. Let it stress me out. Look at some of your neighbor. Don't let it stress you out. Come on, look at some behind us. And neighbor, you better not let that thing stress you out. Come on, we're going to hear that for each other. Let us bow, but we'll say thank you. Thank you, Lord, because you're good. You're kind. Sin that you're going to your God that makes this thing easy. Open the minds, hearts, ears, the people that they play to receive your word. God, don't let anything stop the flow. I am a sinner. That's right, James. I'm a sinner. Say, when you're living grace, so God, you preach. They drove far and near to hear a word from you. Come now. In Jesus' name we pray. Let it be hearts say amen. amen. I'm not going to let it stress me. This week, family, has been a very, very trying week. It has been a challenging week, not so much so for me personally, but for more so uh, for some of our members in our congregation. Uh, many of them have discovered, have gone through trials and tribulations and have overwhelmed them. Uh, you've gone through some situations in the past two weeks that have made you feel as if maybe you're in it all by yourself. Uh, you have some challenges right now that you are even going to face coming recent, coming up soon. Uh, the next few days, you got some challenges. The next few moments, the next few weeks, you got some challenges that you're going to face that you really are afraid to confront. Let's be honest, there are some things that are coming on the horizon for some of us, and it doesn't seem as if we're going to see our way through it. Uh, but I came out to encourage someone this morning. I don't care what the devil is trying to throw in your life. You got to look up in your mind. I'm not going to let it stress me out. I mean, Pastor, what do you do when my money is acting funny and my change is acting strange? You got to tell yourself, I'm not going to let it stress me out. What do you do, Pastor, when it seems like I've got children now who are not doing what I all thought they would do? I come out there encourage you. You got to make up in your mind. I'm not going to let it stress me out. I said, what do you do when you're married to somebody who you don't want to be with no more? Don't talk to me here now. But what happens when now I'm married to someone, now I'm with someone, and now it seems as if that maybe I made the wrong decision. Maybe because I wanted to have legal sex, I put a ring on my finger. Don't let talk to you. Wake up to the clock. And you got to tell yourself, I'm not going to let it stress me out. What happens, Pastor, when I'm going to work on tomorrow and it seems as if everybody at my job gets on my everlasting nerve? What do I do when I want to knock somebody upside their head but I don't want to need my paycheck? Let me help you here. You got to tell yourself, I'm not going to let it. Stress me out. But what happens, Pastor, when I come into church and sometimes it feels like church folk act worse than those folk in the street? Sometimes you're going to come in here and say, Father, I stretch my hand to the Lord of the help I know. Sometimes you're going to look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, I'm not going to let it. Stretch me out. The reason why some of you already are not moved. The reason why some of you already are not excited because you, already, you have already defeated yourself by allowing what's going on in your life to defeat you. The devil is a lie. Sometimes you're going to tell yourself, I don't care what I'm going to do. I'm not going to let it stress me out. And I need somebody to get out to me. Go and think that you got Lord, I preach you. No matter what I'm facing, no matter what I'm going through, I'm not going to let it stress me out. You can do what you want to do. 
when it ain't gonna stress me out. You can call me everything you want to call me, but it won't stress me out. You, you can take away my money and my clothes and my cars, but that's all right, honey. I can move to the hills from this point of my help and my help. Who says God is from the Lord? Is there anybody here that wants to thank God now? And the reason why some of you ought to praise God is because you made it in your mind a long time ago that no matter what I go through in my life, I made it in my mind that I'm going to praise That's what that's 
that's why I've always learned from experience that sometimes people look at people who praise God and say, you should be crying, but you still praise him. You, you should be running around and sitting under the pain, but you still praise him. I'm so here now to thank God. The reason why I ain't crying, but I kept on praising God. The reason why I ain't struggling, is that I kept on praising God. And isn't it amazing how God would allow your life to be blessed and you're getting everything to work with? Don't worry, 